time for the big question. And I'm going to do the big question this week. Of course, uh, we had the news this past today, I guess. (laughs) This past hour, I guess. Where uh, apparently WWE Network is going to add a global cruiserweight series to the robust 2016 programming slate. Um, and, and, uh, it's going to be in July. Yeah, it's going to be in July, and, and it's uh, it's going to be from Full Sail University. It's going to include 32 wrestlers. I'm sorry, 30 wrestlers in the last 10 weeks, according to this. Uh, no, 32. It says 32. More than 30. I see. Okay, there it is. That that I found it. I found it on their pre- this press release. Son of a bitch. Uh, I'm looking at the actual site. Sorry. It says but we got everybody. We got a lot of people coming in here. Uh, uh, so I thought it'd be we could, we could book up. We can we can fantasy book a little bit of this. Who do you want to see coming into WWE? Because I'm sure there'll be a spattering of people already on the roster uh, that'll be a part of this as well. At NXT and whatnot. Who do you want to see come to uh, WWE Network? I almost said NXT. I wanted to go the other way uh, for this uh, uh, show. Global Cruiserweight Series. Who wants to go? And first? can we get can we get a uh, weight check on what considers to be a cruiserweight? The, a- according to the WWE website, the greatest in ring competitors under two hundred five pounds. Okay. Okay. And, right. and and to be fair, and I guess this is his pick for this. A uh, friend of the show, Chris Larusso, has been popping up on Ring of Honor lately. Uh, he he under this in our in our Facebook group says current weight one hundred and eighty seven pounds. <laughs> so I think he's putting his hat in for this thing. So just to take him off the table a little bit. Uh, but who's got the first one? Who's got their first pick they want to see show up in this thing? I do, Sorg. Okay. Yeah. Um, after watching Lucha Underground this past week, uh, I, I, I have a feeling a lot of our answers are going to be from Lucha Underground, but I'm going to take this guy early. And I'm going to say Jack Evans. Yeah. Jack I Evans like that would be answer. a lot of fun. And I think Jack Evans would fit well into WWE style, too. It could be. Yeah, I think that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Got one, Riz? I do. Uh, mine's not from Nooch Underground. Uh, mine is Kenny Omega. 203 pounds right <laughs> under the limit. I checked. Uh, I can see him doing a lot of things in, in this tournament. Maybe bringing, you know, helping out with AJ Styles a little bit, you know, trying to get that bullet club thing back, you know, kiss the, the two sweeting and everything. Um, but I can I can see Kenny Omega in this. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about you, Garza? Um, I don't think there's anyone more crucial way than, than this name. Uh, I think he's the embodiment of the style and the weight. I think he could bring a lot into the picture. So I want to see Cheeseburger join Crucial <laughs> Weights. <laughs> and we're not we're not going by he's under contract. We're getting, we're talking July June. So this is a few months away. So anything could happen. And these could Dude, be Jericho offs. will push hard for Cheeseburger. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Um, we got. Uh, uh, let's see who else who else popped in here. Uh, Matt Carlin's the proprietor of, of course, the uh, Mayhem Mania. Who who do you who do you think? Other you know, the no, Wade King Barrett, Barrett is not King Barrett is, is not going to qualify for this for so many reasons right now. What, what's the weight limit again? Uh, two ten, two five, two seven. Damn it, he's too heavy. Yeah. So two oh seven is two oh seven. No, it's two oh five. He's two pounds too heavy. <laughs> well, maybe someone can cut weight. Who are you? Who are you thinking of? All right, I'm, I'm going to assume that he can cut weight um, because ever since uh, our boy Daniel Bryan uh, retired, this is another guy that's kind of popped in my head. He's kind of like an heir apparent to that kind of style. Um, and I love Kyle O'Reilly. And even Ooh. though he's not a typical cruiserweight, he would definitely bring um, a different uh, skill set to uh, to the tournament. So instead of flippies, people will be getting uh, twisted in knots. So it'll be fun to watch, for me at least. I like it. I like it. Uh, Bobby F. J-Town is also joining us on the line, preparing for Mayhem Mania here in the next segment. Uh, do you got somebody? Um, I don't have a caller to pop, but I, I'm going to say uh, Zack Sabre Jr. Nice. Nice, nice. I think he could be one of those uh, cruiserweights that could kick some ass and take some names. Awesome. I- I'm going to have to go with ACH. 
I think he'd be a, a interesting addition to this as well. Um, so and, it, and he's not doing a whole lot that I I don't know. I haven't been up on uh, Ring of Honor in recent weeks, but uh, you know he hasn't really done anything significant there. I think this could be something to make a make a statement with. So and and fit right in with that full cell crowd. I think as well. So I don't know how Eamon would feel about that sort. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I I think Eamon. Eamon might should have already faint. said ACH. And also, have you have you ever seen that meme of Randy Marsh uh, in the in, in in that private that private room with the computer? What with the ghost? He's yeah, saying the ghost. he's saying Eamon would ejaculate all over the place. If that Thank happened. you, man. Whoa, Mike. whoa, Thank whoa. You. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, it's, it's sad, but true. Well, let us know your answer to the big question, hashtag WMS big question on the Twitter all through the week. Uh, we'd love to hear uh, what you think. Uh, who do you want to, in this plenty of spots? Who do you think should fill out this uh, cruiserweight, global cruiserweight challenge that's coming up here? It's, I'll be curious to see what goes on with something like this that uh, hopefully has nothing to do with any other storyline. It's kind of segmented. It's kind of like their own uh, uh, one night only pay per view like TNA has, right, Mike? Well, it's supposed to be um, over 10 weeks. Right. That's so kind so, of right. Yeah. yeah, it's like I assume it's probably going to be like the Dusty Rhodes tag team mm-hmm. thing, and we probably won't get to see all the matches. That's my bet. Ooh, I hope um, not. I hope that's not the way. Well, no, I, I hope they I hope they release it as a single DVD set. That would be awesome. I feel like since it's on the network, just show it on. The they network. can do it, you know, or regardless. Yeah. So, but if they're, if they're showing it, I mean, actually, because they did announce it as separate programming, so it might just be a separate thing that they do, mm-hmm. which would be great. How many how many people do we think out of the thirty two are actually going to be already contracted by WWE? At least twenty. Wow, yeah, I, three, I wasn't even going that high. I, now I haven't gone through the roster to see who who qualifies, but I think I think between NXT, between WWE, and you're talking about people that they hardly use. Uh, and I think they'll they'll have some glorified jobbers to fill out the first round, kind of like what you saw in the tag team tournament. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I think I think I think about at least twenty of them. Maybe, maybe Man, up. I wish I wish I wish uh, Bull Dempsey was still in WWE. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and I just know. have just have like vignettes of him trying to lose weight to be in that tournament <laughs> in the sweat box. All right, guys. Uh...